welcome today we are going to solve three problems so this is the first problem here uh, SFG is given and we have to find the determinant delta so delta is given by this formula delta is equal to 1 minus sum of the gains of all individual loads plus sum of the products of gains of all possible combinations of no, two non-touching loops minus sum of products of gains of all possible combinations of three non-touching loops. So we have to find uh, the what are all the loops present in our SFG and we have to find the individual gains of each loop and add it and write it in the second term. So for this third, uh, second, uh, third term we have to find whether the, there are non-touching loops or not. If there are non-touching loops, find the product and write it in this third term. So, in our case, we have three loops. This is first loop and this is second loop and this is third loop. So, if you see the loop gains L1 equal to minus R cube and L2 equal to minus UV and L3 is given by R, Y, V, X. The minus symbol cancels each other and it is written like this. And coming to the number of loops present here, there are three loops present here. And we have to check whether there are uh, non-touching loops. So here when we check the first one and the third one are touching each other because they are sharing common node as well as the second loop and third loop are touching each other as they share a common node. But if you see the first one and second one, they are not sharing even a one common node. So these two loops are said to be non-touching. So this product of these two non-touching loops is given by that is the product of non-touching loop gains. Loop gains is given by R Q U V. R Q U V. So by substituting the in the formula delta is given by 1 minus you have to add all the individual loop gains. So minus R Q minus U V plus R Y vx plus non-touching loop gain is r q u v so hence 1 plus r q plus u v minus r y v x plus r q u v so this is the correct answer so b is the correct answer so coming to the Second one, here we are going to find the gain. They have asked the gain between the input node and the output node. So from the signal flow graph, we can determine the gain using the simplified gain formula introduced by S.J. Masson and his formula is given by this, that is the gain can be obtained between the input and output as adding all the that is summation over the product of the forward path gain and determinant of that forward path gain divided by the determinant. So where mk is the forward gain of that forward of the kth forward path. So we have to determine how many forward paths and uh, compute this formula and also del k is given by the determinant for that kth forward path. I will explain you in very simple manner. So from the diagram, previous diagram, we have written the two forward paths. The two forward paths is redrawn here. So this is 
first forward path and this is second forward path. The first forward path travel like this x1, x2, x3, x4, x5 and second forward path travels from x1, x2 and x4 and x5. And uh, similarly there are two loops L1 and L2. So L2 is self loop and L1 is x3, x4, x5 and back to x3. So there are two loops and uh, uh, we know that the Mason's gain formula sorry the determinant before uh, computing the Mason's gain formula we will first compute the determinant it is given by 1 minus as explained in the uh, solution for the first problem the determinant is given by 1 minus the sum of all the individual loop gains so for the first loop the uh, loop gain is given by g43 g54 g35 and there is also another loop l2 whose gain is g55 and we have to check whether there are non touching loops so here there are no non touching loops so i am going to write it as zero so from this the determinant is given by 1 minus g43 g54 g35 plus g55 and uh, Substituting this one in Mason's gain formula, which is given by m is equal to m1 del 1 plus m2 del 2 because we have two forward paths. m1 is the forward path gain for the first forward path, and this is the forward path gain for the second forward path divided by del. So, substituting in the formula, what is m1? m1 is g21 g32 g43 and g54 this is the forward path gain of the first forward path multiplied by del1 so if you see in our case del1 is 1 why because there are if you see this first forward path do you find any loop which is non touching the first forward path no no there are no non touching forward or uh, non touching loops so it is del1 becomes 1 and forward path gain of the second one is given by g21 g42 g54 multiplied by del2 so del2 here is also 1 because there are no loops non touching this kth forward path that is second forward path. So I am going to replace del2 with 1 and del is as we have already derived 1 minus g43, g54, g35 plus g55. So, simplifying this one, you will get the A option as the answer. I'm sorry. Um, this one is minus. This one is minus because taking out of the bracket it is minus. Coming to the third problem. Here the input and output transfer function of a plant is given by H of S. So here they have given a transfer function and the plant is placed in the unity negative feedback and we have to find the uh, correct uh, sorry uh, we have to find the incorrect sfg which matches with this transfer function they have given four sfgs and we have to find the 
the which SFG is not matching this transfer function. So uh, as usual by applying the Mason's gain formula. So in the first case directly we will substitute in the Mason's gain formula. Here only one forward path. Only one forward path. So M1 del 1 by del. So here what is the uh, forward path gain? 1 by s into 1 by s into 1 by s into 100. So the forward path gain is 100 by s cube into del 1. There are no non-touching loops with this forward path. All loops are touching the forward path. So del 1 becomes 1 by del. What is del? Del is 1 minus individual loops. So these two loops are individual loops. So this is minus 10 by s and the loop gain of this one is minus 10 by s. So add and write it here minus 10 by s minus 10 by s. And coming to the uh, uh, check whether there are non-touching uh, non loops. Yes, this loop and this loop are non-touching each other. So, we have to write the third term also. So, multi uh, multiply those two one that is minus 10 by s into minus 10 by s. So, simplifying this one, 100 by s cube divided by 1 minus um, sorry 1 plus 20 by s plus 100 by s square so if we take s square as denominator we will get s square plus 20s plus 100. So cancel this one. You will get 100. S into s square plus 20s plus 100. Which is nothing but the h of s 100 by s into s plus 10 whole square so the first one matches the question so let us solve the second one so here in second one let us erase this one So for the B1, the mass and gain formula, by substituting in the mass and gain formula, we will get M1 as 100 by sin, 100 by S cube divided by, uh, and there are no non-touching loops with the uh, forward path. So it becomes 1, del 1 becomes 1, and del is the, these two loops. So first loop is the minus 20 by S, 1 minus minus 20 by s and uh, second loop is minus 100 by s square minus 100 by s square so and uh, these two loops are touching each other so there are there is no third term and we'll simplify this one that is 100 by s cube divided by 1 minus so if you bring this one and uh, keep the same denominator, this becomes 20s plus 100. 
which is nothing but 100 by s into s square plus 20 s plus 100 which is nothing but 100 by s into s plus 10 the whole square which is nothing but h of x. So for the b1 also we are getting the same model and uh, we'll check about the c. For c sum it is very similar with the b option. So here the forward path is same 100 by s cube and also del1 is 1 because there are all the uh, loops are touching with the forward path and coming to the del part it is 1 minus uh, minus 20 by s and uh, minus 100 by s square. So by simplifying this one we will get the same answer which is h of s. So our answer is d. We will check it once again. M1 by del1 by del. We will check whether it uh, satisfies or not. Uh, M1 is given by 100 by s cube by uh, 1 minus um, 100 by s square. So there is only one loop. 100 by s cube divided by 1 plus 100 by s square which is 100 by s into s square plus 100 which does not match with this. So d is the one d is the one which doesn't match with the question uh, block diagram given block diagram thank you